One thing I did not know is Pancho Villa was here. He actually rode his horse into the lobby. Oh. And this tells the story right here. You can freeze the, the video and read the story. Wow. Will had to deliver a telegram to the Gadsden Hotel. While Will was waiting to give up a telegram to the hotel guests, Pancho Villa rode his horse into the hotel and up the marble stairs while shooting bullets with his gun into the ceiling and hooting and hollering. When Pancho Villa and his horse rode up the marble stairs, his horse broke a piece of the marble, which is still there to see today. Look on the seventh stair, you'll see a piece missing. My great-great-grandfather, Will Maddow, saw Pancho Villa's horse break the piece off the white marble stairs. So we are going to look up the white marble stairs here. So the seventh stair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This chip right here was broken. Yeah. Was broken off by Pancho Villa's horse as he raced into the lobby of the hotel yeah. and up the staircase. That's another part of history we didn't know. And this is the original bar in the hotel. Yeah. It's called the, uh, the Saddle and Spur Tavern today. Pancho Villa's days are over. There is no firearms allowed in the hotel. Oh. <laughs> and that is the original bar. Oh, come on in. Come on. We're, we're just. No problem. Yeah, thank you. These uh, cattle brands are here from Cochise County. There's a lot of them from across the line. During the, uh, during the turn of the century, there was a lot of cattle being traded back and forth. Mm -hmm. So across the street is the Murphy Building. That used to be the cattle broker back there. Okay. Okay. So like I stated earlier, these are all from uh, across the line. Uh, Alabeta, Mexico, and Cochise County. Our most famous one is the 26th Bar. This one. Mm -hmm. This belonged to John Wayne. Okay. A John Wayne owned property, not here in Douglas, in Benson, right off of the 10. Okay. He also had another ranch out in, uh, uh, in by Phoenix, somewhere out there. Okay, yeah. So these are all cattle brands. If you step over here, do you see the way the sun reflects the bottom of the bar? Yeah. That's all made up of copper. Okay. This is all copper, and so is the ceiling. It's all made out of copper. This is all original. Mm -hmm. And that's the original bar. This is all the original. The boots has the, uh, the 40s cowboy emblem on there. Mm -hmm. The boots have been redone several times, but this is all original. Beautiful hotel. Isn't it? Beautiful saloon. We noticed the sign say no firearms allowed. Pa yeah. Pancho Villa's days are yeah, done. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so you're enjoying the weather here, huh? <laughs> yeah. But Beautiful, isn't it, Kathy? Beautiful. Absolutely. And we're going to go in and we're going to have some lunch right here in the historic dining room. We're in the beautiful dining room of the Gadsden Hotel and we're going to order some lunch today. But you can see all of the, the fixtures and the, and the seal, ornate ceiling. We let, had a look at the menu, and uh, the server recommended that we try some of the Gadsden poppers. You can see that we're going to get the, the not-so-spicy ones, which will be bell peppers stuffed with cheese and wrapped in bacon, and I believe deep-fried. 
They sound good and they shouldn't be too spicy. But we'll have to see. But we should like them, huh, Kathy? Yeah. And these are the, the peppers. They're red bell peppers stuffed with cheese, wrapped in bacon, and they look and smell absolutely wonderful. Does that look good, Kathy? Yes, it does. Absolutely. So we're going to dig in and get started. And I am going to use my fingers. Kathy, there's one for you. One for you. And you can go ahead and help yourself. And we're going to go ahead and dig in. We're going to eat them, Kathy. Okay. Yes, but they're low. So we got some dinner salads with the, the meal. Mm -hmm. Kathy's enjoying her popper. They're a little bit spicy. But they had a spicy version. <laughs> this is not that. Um, but these got a little zing to them. But they're very flavorful and, and good. Yes. And it looks like a wonderful salad. My mother ordered the fajitas, you can hear it sizzling there. So they're nice and hot. She got beans and rice with it. Guacamole. And some guacamole dip. Can't they get her burger and fries? And I got some wonderful looking chicken Alfredo. So it looks like a really good meal. Liking it? So we finished our dinner here at the Gadstead Head. Uh, it was a wonderful dinner. Uh, moderately priced and it was an excellent choice. Uh, it's a beautiful hotel. We highly recommend that you come at least have lunch, but they have a great dinner menu also. And, um, and if, if you get a chance, stay at the hotel. Yeah. It's a wonderful hotel. So we're here at the Gadsden Hotel. We just had a wonderful lunch in the, in the restaurant here. Yes. Uh, wonderful people here. Uh, uh, you met the owner's mother, and uh, this is a beautiful lobby. to the marble staircases, to this Tiffany stained glass up on top. It's just a beautiful yes. hotel. If you get a chance, go ahead and come on in here yeah. and uh, give them a visit. I'll put the link in the description yeah. and I uh, want you to come on here, check it out, uh, stay, at least have lunch and see the beautiful lobby okay. and dining area. The side view of the hotel. I'm gonna go across the street and get a better view. You can see the sign, which is most likely not original. Hotel 1907. You can see there's some shops in the storefronts today at the hotel. This is the view from across the street of the hotel. The Gadsden Hotel, built in 1907, and it is an absolutely beautiful building on the outside and on the inside. And you can see some murals up on the wall, Douglas Cultural Crossroads. The 
Old Douglas train depot. Wonderland of rocks. Lisa. Slaughter's Ranch. And Mexico. Agra Prieta is right across the border in Sonora, Mexico. Just a beautiful area. Some more murals over on the other side. Which is a map of the area. You can see Douglas is up on top. Agra Prieta right down across the border. And that is the Republic of Mexico, the state of Sonora. Be 104 miles down to Hermoso. Painted by chiefs. Hola. Hola. Minigo clan.